Hi, this is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial, bringing you more useful tips to help improve our environment. I'd like to talk today a little bit more about what I call the pollinator victory garden, how we can garden to win the war on pollinator decline. Now, this time of year is uh, September, and a lot of plants are dying back. And some of us kind of forget that this is a really critical period for pollinators to make sure that the ones that are surviving go into winter well fed and the ones that aren't going to make it through winter have the opportunity to get the proper nutrition and to mate potentially before they die. So some of the plants that we see in gardens like this we can use in our own landscapes. Two of the most important ones that I'd like to share with you are goldenrod our solidago species and our native asters that we'll see in a little bit. These plants have critical nectar and pollen for pollinators and feed many different types of pollinators. Everything from pollinating flies to tiny little bees, large bees, and even wasps that can be pollinating at this time of year as they look for nectar and go from flower to flower. So let's take a closer look at some of these wonderful late season blooming plants that you can use in your own garden. Goldenrods are really important pollinator plants, but there are many different goldenrods to choose from. Uh, in fact, it's said that there's at least one species of goldenrod in every single state in the United States. Uh, in many states, there are many different goldenrods, but choosing ones that fit your landscape conditions and that are also regional or local, it's really important. This goldenrod that I'm in front of is actually not a solidago species. This is a euthamia, but it has the name flat top goldenrod or grass leafed goldenrod. And it is uh, one that really does quite well in full sun with sufficient moisture. In fact, it'll grow in quite a bit of moisture. And it's a bit of a rambunctious goldenrod, meaning it will spread. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some gardens you might want a spreader that competes well with other spreading mm -hmm. plants. But in some gardens you might want a clumping goldenrod. So do a little research on solidago species to see which one fits your needs in your landscape. Of the many different goldenrods, one of the uh, most beautiful is showy goldenrod, Solidago speciosa. And this goldenrod has a little bit different what they call inflorescence, the uh, grouping of flowers. Uh, it's quite upright and really, really beautiful. Now, this is a clumping plant uh, that you can use in the garden, probably back of the border because it's pretty darn tall. And it likes uh, full sun and soil that's on the dry to average side as far as moisture is concerned, but really good drainage. And this is just uh, going gangbusters right now with pollinators. So showy goldenrod, something to take a look at, see if it's native to your area and appropriate for your landscape. Another really great choice for a garden that's sunny is uh, this beautiful aromatic aster, Symphiotrichum oblongifolium. Easy to say, a shorter um, aster that's uh, really a nice one for the front of the border. And uh, this one happens to be growing along with uh, some of Solidago, some of the goldenrod, so it's particularly beautiful. Like our native goldenrods, our native asters come in ones that actually do really well in full sun and some that do really well in woodland conditions. So don't worry if you have a shady garden, there's still a lot of pollinator plants that you can introduce in the fall. This is a sun lover. This is smooth blue aster, Symphiotrichum levi, and it is again a pollinator magnet. It's really pretty. It likes hot and dry conditions. Average garden soil will be okay, but if it's too moist and too organic, you know, it might flop. So think about which asters will do well in your landscape. Do a little research on Lady Bird Johnson uh, Wildflower Database. Uh, their website's terrific for figuring out which plants are regional to your particular part of the country and uh, which choices you have. 